Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is still check your choices. And our anchoring scripture is Deuteronomy 30 verse 19. Today we want to look at Paul and Peter. We'll see candor versus crassness. Candor versus crassness. A lot has been exposed, you know, in this uh, COVID-19 pandemic period as regards systemic racism in our days. You know, many people have been oppressed for years because of the color of their skin. And many people speak in a crass manner. They are not cultured at all. Some love to be insensitive with their comments and behavior. <laughs> I remember working in a small hospital in Ontario. Uh, early in the morning, the, the patient asked me for banana, if I have banana, you know. But let me say this, it's a choice to be cultured and treat all men with respect. It's a choice. In Acts 10, 34, then Peter opened his mouth and said, In truth, I perceive that God shows no partiality. You know, Peter's statement, after this statement came from Peter, after seeing God, Paul, the Holy Spirit on the Gentiles. He had a mindset of some race was lower than the other. And God through, took him through this experience. So the same Peter who had this experience now withdrew all fellowship from the Gentiles. He was like rebuilding the torn middle wall of partition between the Jews and the Gentiles. In, in Galatians 2, 11 to 14, Paul challenged Peter and he rebuked him. Now, when Peter had come to Antioch, I withstood him to his face because he was to be blamed. For before certain men came from James, he would eat with the Gentiles. But when they came, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing those who were of the circumcision. And the rest of the Jews also played the hypocrite with him, so that even Barnabas was carried away with their hypocrisy. But when I saw that they were not straightforward about the truth of the gospel, I said to Peter before them all, If you being a Jew, live in the manner of Gentiles and not as the Jews, why do you compel Gentiles to live as Jews? In Galatians 3.28, the Bible says there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ. So you can be cultured instead of behaving any or, or being insensitive to people's feelings because of their color.